Which brings us to our first story of the day, which is that at this moment, AW has announced that they will be going back on the road. For the first time since March of 2020, AW Dynamite will return to a live weekly touring schedule, touting in a press release that they will be the first major pro wrestling company to do so. Company announced the news on Monday, with their first three days in venues with more live event dates being announced, quote, in the near future. Miami, Florida will be July 7th at the James L. Knight Center. Cedar Park, Texas, Wednesday, July 14th at the HEB Center. And Garland, Texas, Wednesday, July 21st at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland, Texas. Tickets go on sale for all three shows Friday with events, quote, held in compliance with state COVID safety guidelines and seating capacities will adhere to state and local mandates. So basically, if they go to a place and the local venue rules are 50% capacity, they'll be at 50% capacity. The local venue rules are 100% capacity, they'll be at 100% capacity. If you if the local mandates say you got to wear a mask, you got to wear a mask. If they don't, then you don't. They announced our Friday, June 23rd St. Louis event has been rescheduled for November 5th and will be an AWTNT television taping. While on December 2nd, Dynamite, uh, their New Orleans date will be moved to January 12th. So that is the update there. And I have no inside information. Well, I guess my inside information is a lot of speculation from that side. But I would be very surprised, very surprised, If WWE did not announce by the end of this week when they will be going back on the road and when tickets will be on sale. I suppose it's possible they'll hold off, but now that AEW has announced it, I would be very, very surprised if WWE does not follow suit at some point very quickly. So before I go any further, Mike, any thoughts on any of this? No, I I would be, if I was a betting man... I would probably throw some money behind yours as far as WWE announcing something this week. And uh, there's really not much you can say. You know, Japan is on, uh, apparently Myanmar has got just as much as their population vaxxed as uh, as Japan does. So this is going to be a continuing thing over there. And, you know, just feel bad for the wrestling industry as well as many other just actual people over there too. But in what we're talking about, the wrestling business is on a second year now of going to be having some real, real problems over there. So what else can you do? You know, as far as anybody complaining about AEW here, you know, Texas and Florida have opened up those doors wide open for, for everybody, for boxing, for fighting, for wrestling. So they're going to be the spots that continue to make out in this until other states start to open up. It's really hard for me to believe at some point Nevada won't just finally break because of their industries that have taken such a beating, all the tourism, all of the the conventions, all of those events and all of those sorts of things. So don't fall over shocked if, you know, this is going to be just more dominoes when other states, especially conservative ones, look at Texas and Florida, look at the money coming in, look at the tax dollars and all of that and decide, you know, we're not waiting on this anymore. So that's the uh, that's the plan for uh, returning to touring, and uh, at this point, I mean it's different all over the world. Like Canada, I mean I know people in Canada that have been waiting a long time, and they finally, like Lance for example, finally got his first shot. And of course, in America, you get Moderna, and then four months or four weeks later, you get your second shot. Pfizer, three weeks later, you get your second shot. Canada is doing what the UK did, which is you get your one shot and then your second shot is going to be months later because they want to spread this all throughout the country, get as many people having at least one shot as possible before you get that second shot. In America, we are already at the point here where uh, supply has outpaced demand. Like Washington State, for example, we're scheduled to get X number of doses of vaccine And we are already having to tell the federal government, don't send so much. We can't get rid of it. There's way too much. So it when 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 it reaches a point where supply exceeds demand, at that point, if AW and WWE and whoever else wants to run their shows, I mean, listen, if you don't want to get a shot at this point, that's your decision. 
six months ago, a year ago, it wasn't your decision. You had no opportunity. There were so many people that wanted to get a vaccine and they couldn't. Now you want it, go get it. So the country is going to open up at some point. In, in a lot of places, actually, it's already very much opened up. And now everyone has a choice whether they are going to get the vaccine or not. Elsewhere around the world, a lot of people don't have that choice. But here in America, you have that choice. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.